All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here once again with my good buddy, Tom. Sir, would you please start us off with a great intro to your life and channel? Hi, everybody. My name is Fez, Tom, whichever you want to call me. Uh, I'm starting my own channel. It's called Fez's Classic Gaming. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send Brock the link so we can put it in the description down below. And for our next set of videos, go I'm going to do Pokemon here. Red, but I'm going to do a Nuzlocke Seems challenge. Like you can look that up here. if you need to. Mm -hmm. But Sometimes what I'm going so to ask you right now is who's my starter Pokemon going to be? And this is OG Pokemon? This is this is the original for the Game Boy Color. I'm, I'm going to either do Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue. doesn't matter. Um, but you who know, should my starter be? Charmander, okay. Bulbasaur, or Squirtle? You know, Charmander yeah. is, is, like we all know, is the fan favorite. Right. I've always loved Squirtle, but if you look online for walkthroughs on that game, it's always Charmander. So I'm going to grace you with Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, that sounds good to me, man. Perfect. So this episode of Street Fighter V is the final one before Valhalla drops, and I can pick it up. Um, so what we're doing is the same thing we did with the uh, Jedi uh, we, I, I sent you a few questions, um, and I want to get your opinion, but this is not on Street Fighter. This is on Assassin's Creed. So, we were planning on doing this, uh, with the last episode of Black Flag, but if, uh, you all have been keeping up with my channel, you would know that I had a blackout and it deleted everything. Pain in my ass, but... We got it figured out. I found a great sub to make it through until it got dropped. So, sir, um, let's start this this Q and Q and A off perfectly with the first question: Is who was your favorite assassin? My favorite assassin. This is a this is a question I have to ponder quite a bit. I was uh, both mortified and really sorry for uh, your, your blackout. That sucks. Really. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> my favorite assassin, uh, I had to go with Altair. Okay. I really loved him. And, you know, they always say the original is, is always the greatest, and that's not always true. But I think in this case, it was. That game had, the original Assassin's Creed had its problems. And God knows they had him. <laughs> And then it they had some, the but uh, of a rose in bloom. his character was really cool, and it took However, me my, I think my second playthrough be before I realized to wait and watch this that Altair right. actually grew a lot, and his story was pretty deep considering how repetitive the game was. Mm -hmm. And then later on when we see him in other main console games, his character grew and, and you know, he was even better and then me? became, you know, the Look head assassin. Here. Right. Of, of his order. And I'm like, that was, like, you would have never thought of that, really, as the, the progression of the first game, but it, would take too long to get it worked so well. I loved it. Oh, yeah. Um, not to mention him, you know, surviving, jumping off a huge cathedral into a hay barrel and just walking away like it was nothing. Brother, that's one of the reasons why I could not be an assassin. I know, because I'd, I'd be in pain. Oh, my God. It's like, all right, Brack, you ready? You Your first you me test. Jump off this. this. Nope, I'm phone. good. All right, you guys have a great night, Um, and I'll see you at the bar. Yeah, oh, and uh, don't worry about your secret society. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, Five so, hours later, I'm going to be sitting on the bar still going, These bastards! <laughs> You're like, these bastards would, would not accept me. Who? The assassins! I'll tell you who it is. <laughs> Um, so then let's move to, um, yeah, question two. Who, in your opinion, That's was wasted rule. potential? Either, I'm going to put a little spin on it. Who do you think, you if you want to answer this question one of two ways, someone who you thought could have been one of the greatest assassins, but they didn't do much with them, or who was the biggest pain in your ass and you hated every bit of them? That's a good way you, you put a spin on that one, because I actually had the answer completely different. Um, okay. Because, you know, you, when you asked to me, it was just wasted potential, and yes. I said, well, as a game, Unity was completely wasted potential. That game was so broken that it, it was like playing uh, Jedi, where it's not, you didn't, it, the game didn't make you feel like you wanted to become a Jedi. This did not make me want to be an assassin. It that should have been enough to beat him. Yeah, I was just sitting there going, I'm just going to hit buttons till it's over. Now, for, for those who, who uh, don't strong, remember, which one was Unity? Alone. Which assassin? Why 
going on? That, oh, uh, man, you know, his it's name's not even coming long, to me off the top of my head, and that's yeah. how okay. bad it was. But okay. Unity was the one where we were in uh, France but... during the French Revolution. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay. Um, but, Are you doubting me? So I also you had an answer in case you meant character. Shadowy? And as far as wasted that. potential uh, in the way that Come on. they could have used him mm-hmm. was actually Connor Kenway. Oh, um, because there was a big chunk actually so missing out of the story. The okay. Hard they, even worth my time. they, uh, he and Washington were supposed to be really good friends. So no, later on in the story, when there's this like huge be problem. betrayal Damn kind it. of thing that happens, and Connor gets mad and king. threatens to kill Boy, you lost. George Washington. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was supposed to be a huge emotional moment, but they cut out most of the parts where the two of them became friends. So it's really just, oh, Connor's getting mad at this, even though it's kind of obviously coming. Go on. Hmm. Damn. We've okay. Got this under control. Okay. okay. Character, they get him a person. He was kind of like a robot. <laughs> right. And I really loved it too, because that was a game that was set in a war well, zone and the quick one. like, However, literally perfect, well, you do by mm-hmm. except for that. And the game was. You're wrong. Pre-released Ubisoft. If you're listening, please play test your games. I know you don't. <laughs> now we were talking a this little bit time. about ideas you're and everything, me, and I'm not going to reveal uh, the ideas that me and you had. Um, you of- so uh, I'm going to have a new question for you as well, an additional question. Um, so let me throw it in here before I forget. Um, not based on the game that we have discussed. Um, what time period would you feel is a perfect time period to, uh, to put for, uh, a PS5 release? Well, my personal, uh, okay, wait, so to put into game release, like, as a new game, or yes. what has already been released? No, 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 the, uh, a, a future game that me and you, the idea we did, that we discussed, right. is not put in action. Besides that, what would be the next no, best situation for a PS5 release? <laughs> well, my personal answer to that would be somewhere um, look in, your in general in the early 1900s because um, you knew me growing Indeed. up, one of my huge things was the ship, the Titanic. Father. I love that. Also, Ooh, okay. Um, and I also, now I do World War One reenacting. Mm-hmm. So somewhere just before the Roaring Twenties, being an assassin in the Very trenches well. just sounds so awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, but I'm also going to have to give a shout out to World War II because that's where so many, you know, that's a really popular time period. So if I'm releasing a game, I might have to go World War II just because Thank you for your the time period is going to sell. Mm-hmm. But me personally, World War One. That's just because, you know, that war was in such a deadlock. I'm like, how awesome would that be to be an assassin in that deadlock war where, you know, this it's not going to end of... well anyway. Right. World War Two. it was like, there. everybody's okay. a hero eventually in World War Two okay. games, so. Yeah, and I believe I the only war game the uh, AC franchise dropped was American Revolution, away. correct? Well, they uh, they had the Crusades, which were the Holy Wars in the original one. Okay. And Odyssey was the Peloponnesian Wars. Just like you are. So I mean, they they've been around war zones, but it, it, it just so. Anything's possible. Uh, Re- Revolution, or, um, Assassin's Creed Three, was the one where you really felt involved in the war. Yes. Right. And I was like, I really like that feeling. So if we could capture that again, just in a different war, yeah. and actually play test the game. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Um. Viewpoints would be kind of hard, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, if they spend more... You, you know, I was talking to a buddy. This is not the same thing, but with WWE, like, every time that they release a new game, it's one year later, and it always has glitches. It's always a waste of your money. But, like, if they just released a game, like, every other year, like, but that's a time for another story. But, um... Let's go to uh, question three and four. What was your favorite game, and what was your least favorite game? Okay, so my favorite game was it was Black Flag, which is part of why it hurts so much when you watch the whole thing, because I know how awesome that game is. Yep. I was loving where you were going, and just, oh, shit. Um, Rest in peace. Uh, no, it's okay, we can play it again. <laughs> but, um... 
I thought Black Flag or Black Flag was great. The controls were smooth for the most part. Right. I didn't feel the need to like have, throw the controller every half an hour. It was more like every three hours. <laughs> there you go. You, you just the open the world, first of all, I thought it was beautiful. I mean, How about some afternoon sure, graphics exercise. have gotten a lot better and so oh. and so, but I thought Haven't that one, the yet. graphics for that almost <laughs> still seemed to hold up really, <laughs> really well. And it was one of the games that I stated that, you know, hey, like how what they did you. with uh, Mar Marvel Spider-Man is that, yeah, they had, they had uh, uh, points where you could join from point to point. But it was more fun to sail and it was relaxing. Same with the Spider-Man game. You wanted to swing around the city. Yeah. It almost had like a, like a Grand Theft Auto feel about it. Where if I didn't want to actually continue, I just wanted to, you know, dick around. Yeah. I could. And there were like no consequences and all I did was gain shit. So that was great. And I thought the map was like perfectly sized too. Yeah. Because in, in the newer ones, uh, Odyssey and uh, Origins... They're open world, but dear God. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I like them, but oh my God, I did not want to spend 200 something odd extra hours no. just to do what Assassin's Creed has trained me to do and unlock the map. <laughs> um, and I thought the story for Black Flag was smooth. I know, technically, if you really get into the canon, Edward Kenway never really became an assassin. Um, so... Yeah. You know, ignoring that part, but the story was really smooth. There were not a lot of moments where I'm sitting there going, huh? Like, what the hell just happened? Why did they do that? Right. What got cut from that scene? Um, and the characters, almost every character in that game grew and developed in some way. Yes. With like, the exception of Kenway's wife, and that's because she wasn't even really a character. No, she was more of, like... Like a filler thing. She was a plot point. Yeah. That was about it. Um, you know, because we needed a reason on why he started to sail in the first place. And she was just there to be um, the bumpers in the lane when 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 you bowl. You take the ball and you want to knock, knock down the pins. But she was yeah. the bumpers that kept it going. Yeah. Um, and like I said, that the characters grew and developed and there weren't too many moments like that. One of the best parts, I thought, of Black Flag, other than being a pirate, and that was just fun, oh, yeah. was the actual relationship between Blackbeard and uh, Kenway. Mm -hmm. you, well, they didn't really have to tell you that those guys were friends. We got it. Correct, correct, correct. And, and when they, I mean, we all knew Blackbeard was going to die. And when it happens, he screams, and I'm sitting there, like, on the edge of my chair trying not to scream, too. You know, I mean, that was like, oh, man, they killed him, even though I knew it was coming, and I still feel bad. And he was on the verge of retirement. He was a pirate. <laughs> that, and he was on the verge of retirement. Like, he just legit retired. Yeah, like, thanks, asshole. You couldn't have done this to him ten years ago? <laughs> um, and that's where, uh, going back to... Um, Assassin's Creed 3 for a minute. Washington and uh, Connor were supposed to have that kind of a friendship. Oh. And that's that was like got cut out. That's where it's like, like basically Black Flag. They fixed Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah. Uh, and I, I I even like the uh, naval combat from 3, but I when I played Black Flag, never mind. Yep. <laughs> this is better. Oh yeah. Yo. Yep. And uh, you said you wanted my least favorite game, right? Correct, correct. Number four, yes. Okay. Um, and like I said before, Unity is so broken. I'm not. I'm just gonna let that one die. Okay. Perfect. Like, I'm not even gonna put Unity on this list at all. Okay. Um, but my least favorite game was Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Oh my god. I hated that fucking game. <laughs> oh my god. It was like seriously, Ubisoft. I paid you the money. I pre-ordered. What the hell did I do to you? <laughs> Why? They just uh, they just spit in our face and said that it was rain, raining outside. Yeah. And, well, it was a, it clearly the game. I don't know if this is true or not, but the game was clearly a DLC. Yeah. That got pushed. That, like, oh, we got pushed back. Added a couple things and put it on disc. That did not make it worthy of being on disc. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Well, when you put it like that, 
it see the you, you just blew my call. mind with what you just said like they were planning on a release for a new dlc and they all were like oh no no todd todd i still got some time with it i need about another week and they're like all right todd all right todd you got another week the week goes by he goes you know what give me a month and then he's like it, it gets to a point where they go all right todd we need a new game idea he's like well remember that dlc i was talking about mm-hmm yeah, just throw it on a disc. It'll it'll sell, and and it did. And um, needless to say, I I, I liked a lot of the concepts in it. But one of the things I hated was you could not travel. You were stuck in Rome. Right. Which wouldn't have been a problem if it was a DLC. Yeah. But, and I liked the idea that you could recruit, save people, recruit assassins, and build your own brotherhood. And, I thought that was really cool, and you know, you'd get to the ceremony where you, you know, mark their hand and they do the, you know, leap of faith off the building. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty. But cool. I, after like the fifteenth time of deliberation of Roma has begun, oh, got it. God, I hope you die at the end of the. Oh, you get another game too. And, and I liked Ezio. I, I really did. I, I would have to say that, in my personal opinion, he's overrated, mm-hmm. but. There, and, and I remember, I remember playing the last time I played that game. I was working retail at the time. Yeah. And and because Assassin's Creed from the very beginning has trained us um, until the newer games, basically until this new gen console. Um, well, not new gen anymore. Right. But the X, Xbox One, PS4, uh, they literally were training us to, in order to really play the game. You hundred, you had to hundred percent complete the game. Yep. I mean, maybe not so much when they got to the missions where it's like. We're going to throw in some random bonus objectives that we're not going to tell you about. Mm-hmm. Which I hated. <laughs> I, yeah. It was like, oh, you got to go kill this guy. And then it's like, I killed him. Yeah. You didn't jump in a bush twice. What? Yep. When, yep. when was that supposed to happen? <laughs> <laughs> not that I wouldn't have done it, but, you know, you just said kill him, so I killed him. Um, but, like, one of the things, like, that was when, in that, or sorry, going back to a brother, mm-hmm. when... Uh, when they uh, had you like collecting all the armor sets and the sword sets and all that, which was clearly just fillers in, in the game. Yep. You know, like it was in the game before that, and the game after that, and the game after that. Um, I remember sitting there because that was when they introduced the banking system. Yes, yes, and yes. I remember in order to 100% complete that, I was like, well. I want my bank to be full. I'm just going to basically sit here and collect cash so I can buy the sword set, which didn't really make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But it would take so long to do so. I remember I'd literally get Ezio and I'd put him on, like, the ledge where he's just kind of sitting there holding on in that weird kind of duck position. Yeah. On the side of the wall, right above the bank. And then go to work for eight hours. Then come back. Leave the leave the console on. We come back. My bank would be full. Drop down. Get it. Buy a couple things. Put him back at the wall. Go to bed. <laughs> Jesus. Drop down, and it was like I wasted. I wasted like five, six days just doing that, just to move on. I never thought. I never thought to do that. That oh, was a good way to waste time. Not true. Since they wanted me to waste time, and then oh, they're buying the uh, uh back. Long time points of interest. Oh, yep. Why did Ezio have to buy the Colosseum? So nope. What, what did that do in the so game? Here I am. <laughs> that was the same thing with um. There was a glitch in Black Flag. I don't know if a lot of people knew this, but remember the part where you met um where you met with the uh, discount Johnny Depp and uh the other guy with a scar on his face and shit like that. And you get to the point where you have to loot from them before you get your ring and shit like that. If you re- oh, yeah. Yeah, if when you, you're in the governor's mansion in Cuba. Yes. If you restart the mem- mem- memory over and over and over again, you can continue to loot them, and that's how you can get a lot of money. Oh, I didn't know about that one. Yeah. Yep. I remember the, the one thing about Black Flag I didn't like was uh, the elite fire barrels. Yep. Um, and I didn't use the fire we barrels often, but that's just my play style. But I remember because I didn't have internet when Black Flag came culture. out. Correct. So the whole uh, yes. send to your exactly fleet, like Kenway's fleet. Yep. That that was never something I was going to do. No, and I remember, I if you were to play single player, <laughs> I can and you could get to ninety nine point nine percent. You could even find the plans for the fire barrels. And if you remember, they were behind you? this 
Why excuse me, behind this really weird waterfall hatred? somewhere in hatred? Um, or do you Kingston, I think. Mm-hmm. Shut up! But you could not, you could find the plans, Your but you could not install them the until you did something first. in that it's beautiful. fleet mission. Hmm. So I literally sat for, you know, like, two years at 99.9%. Are you that's, that's Just because it would not let me complete it because I didn't have internet. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. That, yeah, I was like, you know, why did you do that? I mean, why didn't you do it with, like, all the elites or <laughs> something? Yeah. That was, it, I, uh, <laughs> but other than that, Black Flag was literally my favorite. The yeah. only thing about Black Flag I... Uh, didn't like story-wise was right after Mary died. Mm -hmm. Because he goes on this drunken stupor thing, and they didn't really explain what he was doing. Right. Like we we finally get it later. Oh, he's he's just drinking himself to death. Oh yeah, and then they bring but, his kid to him. Yeah, and then everything's fine. Like nothing happened. Yep. But anyway, let's move on. Um. All right, so you sort of answered the next question. If you I could be an assassin, what time yet. era it's would you be in? So let me yeah. let me tweak that a little bit and say, um, if you were, if you were to be an assassin, what time period would you be in? And if you could add any weapon to your arsenal, because you said you wanted to be in like the World War uh, Two, so. You would have your blade, but what else would you add to your 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 arsenal? Your pistol, your blade, but what one extra would you do? Um, you know, I, I didn't really like it the first time I played it, but now that I've been... This is this is talking about the weapon. The first time I played it was the sword and dagger mm -hmm. weapon set, mm -hmm. and that was in Rogue. And okay. I really didn't care for it so much in Rogue. I mean, it just it played just like the sword. Right. But, I don't know, the sword dagger thing didn't really work. But then when I started playing Odyssey, when it was the sword and spear. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. I was like, you know, I like that. I really do like it. So I'd probably have to go with the sword spear combo. As well, obviously, with my hidden blade. Right. Yes. Um, and I, my pistol, I'm not sure if I need the hidden pistol or not if I'm in World War Two or World War One or World War Two. Okay. I had. If I was in the army, I'd have a sidearm. So. Right. Oh, damn. Perfect. Um, all right, so let's spend the next uh, four minutes talking about the final question. If you could put a dream team of three assassins, who would you be? Who would you recruit? Okay, um, this one I really had to do some thinking about because, like, I'm one of those people that's like, well, technically, Edward Kenway is not an assassin. Okay. Does he count? Uh, well, uh, yes. Of course he counts. He's Edward Kenway. Yes, yes. But, <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Um, it's just one of those things, like, you know, I, I had to think about it because, like, you know, part of me is saying, well, who counts as an assassin? Who doesn't? Right. But assuming, basically assuming any character that shows up. Correct. As Correct. A, as, as a protagonist at some point. Yes. What um, is it? My first choice was uh, Eve, zero, zero, Evie Fry. Six. I did, I did not expect that, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I really, uh, on top of the fact, hey, you know, cute, sexy British girl, yeah, Correct. all right, 100. I'm ignoring that part, but, uh, <laughs> uh I really liked her, because she was, she was the really stealthy one. Right here. Yeah, I did not like her twin, to be honest with you. Are you trying to well, I mean, I, I've never been a big fan of I'm using as much stealth as I should face. in Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. but... You know, thinking of it as like an overall bit, I'm like, you know, she she was careful and methodical, and I'm like, you know, you probably want that you. on yeah. a team of elite assassins. Oh, She's probably a better assassin than me. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. What's this? Because I'm one of those guys who, especially playing like Black Flag, yeah, I assassinate the one guy, then I pull up my sword, and I'm gonna fight the next 20 of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> forget, forget the stealth thing where it's like, I could take half an hour and kill you all without anybody knowing I was there. Or I could Not take anymore. five minutes and just kill you all. I'll never yep, let ex any of you exactly. Be used again. And that was how Black Flag was sold. But uh, my next one would be Connor Kenway. Okay. Because you know what? You when it ever came down to it, that struggle was the very you needed the guy to get shit done. Mm -hmm. Paul Kenway. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean, e even in, in the fact that his fair. story was broken, like like yeah. I mentioned before, right. he got shit done. <laughs> And you don't want to piss him off. No. Also good to assassin. 
And I guess my third one. Uh, this one was the one I really had some trouble thinking about. Okay. Because uh, I was like, I was trying to figure out where, how else to round out the team. And I said, and I finally decided on Shay Cormac. Okay. One, he is an Irishman, so you know, like me, obviously. <laughs> True. Pure intelligence. <laughs> um, but what I really liked about him, he was as Shay Cormac. For anybody who doesn't know, is uh, he's the other Black Flag spinoff character in Assassin's Creed Rogue, yes. which was a pre, which was the prequel to three. It kind of not filled now. in that timeline gap. Yeah. Not just yet. Or sorry, pre prequel to yeah, prequel to three. Um, <laughs> I see. And he was in the uh, homestead from three before the fall of the order. Um, and he was just a junior assassin what? under Achilles and did all of his his bits. But he had his own ship, so we had all the fun of playing with, uh, like, literally just like Black Flag. Right. Just, in, just basically in the old Assassin's Creed map. And he, he's the one who joined the Templars. Ooh. Yeah. So, I mean, he, he's literally, he was Assassin's Creed Rogue. He was the opposite of all the other Assassins. And as the game goes through, because he's a junior Assassin, he's not privy to all this information that is going on, like we are familiar with in so many of the other games. Correct. And he goes and does something on, on orders that causes a devastating earthquake. Mm -hmm. And... He feels really bad about it, and then when they ask him to go to another precursor, it was due to going to one of the precursor sites. Um, that's where we'll end it. Um, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to uh, do uh, this Q&A with me. Um, oh, no problem, brother. His links will be in the description, and uh, we will see you guys very soon for Valhalla. Peace. Later.